Hey, Lakerland, Duncan here. Let's talk a realistic super team. So, with that being said, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment in the box below, and hit that bell for notifications. So, let's talk about building a super team starting this season. Okay, first and foremost, we need to make some trades this year. And the first thing we need to do is call up the Pelicans. We need to offer them Jordan Clarkson, Julius Randle, and the 2018 second round pick from Denver, and the 2019 second round pick from Chicago for DeMarcus Cousins. Now, why would the Pelicans do this? Because the Pelicans would be getting Clarkson, who's an exciting scoring threat almost any time he touches the ball. Clarkson's on the verge of becoming a star in the NBA. Now, he would fit some a need that they have. Julius Randle brings athleticism, defensive rebounding, quickness, and he's a guy that can come in and mold into a star as well. Then they would have two draft picks they could use for assets or just to help build the roster. And Randall's salary is all luxury tax. So they can go over to get him. So they can still attract a free agent or two to bring in. Now, Cousins is not going to want to come back to the Pelicans. There's no need. He's been there a few years now. There's no winning. They're not going to make the playoffs. If they do make the playoffs, they're not going to go very far. Um, Cousins been removed wanting to go to L.A. for a while. He loves the Lakers. He grew up a Lakers fan. And he sees the movie industry as an enticing piece to his own personal life. So <coughs> I expect that trade could happen. So the Lakers end up getting DeMarcus Cousins in the paint. Now, with that said, you have Brooke Lopez as an asset that you can trade to maybe let's say Milwaukee. So you get Milwaukee involved. Now, Milwaukee needs a big man. They're in a playoff push. Would they trade their first round pick this year for Brooke Lopez, a chance to actually compete this year? They might, especially since Lopez has bird rights and they could potentially go over the luxury tax to bring him back. So that's a, that's a trade that makes sense as well. So with that said, now you got Cousins and a first-round pick added to the team this year. And remember, Cousins you can bring back with luxury tax. So you've now opened up $60 million in roster space for next season. And you got Cousins as the guy you're bringing back with your luxury tax. Okay, remember that. So that's $25 million that you can go over your roster to bring Cousins back. So you're still looking at $60 million to spend. With Lonzo. With Ingram. With Cousins. Now. You're looking. First thing you do is you say. Hey LeBron. I know you're sick and tired of. This slow. Older. Cleveland team. I know you want to go to win championships. Well. Maybe you should come to L.A. You were rumored to be looking at houses, looking at schools for your kids. Maybe you should come to the Lakers. Look who we got. We got one of the best passers in Lonzo. We got a young guy in Ingram that you can help mold. Um, and look, we got Cousins in the paint, who is by far one of the best centers, if not the best center you've ever played with. Now you add in Kazuma, Nance, you add in the other pieces... And now maybe LeBron's looking at this Laker team as, hmm, okay, I'm in. So you bring LeBron in for 35 mil. Now you're looking at 25 million left. You got Lonzo, you got LeBron, and you got Cousins. You got Ingram in the, on the bench. Okay, or maybe you slide Ingram over. Or you contact Paul George. Say, hey, Paul. Check it out. We got LeBron and Cousins 
You interested in coming and playing for 25 mil? And now you get... Now you get to uh, Paul George to come over. Okay. Think about that for a minute. So now you got Paul George, you got LeBron, and you can go over the luxury cap space to get Cousins. But there's one more thing you can do. Stretch and wave Lou Dang. Why would you do this? Well, because you can use that $11 million to bring in, let's say, a Raja Rondo to back up Lonzo. Or maybe you use that to bring in, you know, a couple other asset pieces. But now imagine, I'm going to go with Rondo. And so here's my lineup for next season after all this trade and all this moves. You got point guard, Lonzo Ball, with Raja Rondo backing him up. You got Kasama or Kaskama, whatever his name is, as your third reserve. The guy on the 60-day contract this year. Now, your shooting guards, you obviously have Paul George, who plays a ton of minutes. He's an all-star. Outstanding. You got Josh Hart. And you got Vander Blue, who, again, is another one of those outstanding uh, D-leaguers that brings some pretty decent scoring as the reserve. Your small forward position, you have LeBron James, you got Brandon Ingram, and don't forget about that first round pick that we picked up from Milwaukee. We can pick, we could use that pick for a combo forward, a guy that plays both small forward and power forward. Now think about that. Now we go to a power forward position, Kazuma who's outstanding young rookie, who's only going to get better, especially if you surround him with Cousins and LeBron and Paul George. Okay, this guy's going to get lost on teams. Defenses aren't even going to know how to adjust. Then you got Larry Nance. That's literally ending at the hoop and show, show, I mean, showcasing for the NFL, NBA. I mean, this guy's going to... That guy can fly. Okay, now again, you got your first round combo forward there. Now your centers. You got Cousins, Zubak, and you got Thomas Bryant. Okay, so imagine that you're starting five. Lonzo Ball, Paul George, LeBron James, Kyle Kazuma, and DeMarcus Cousins. You're going to tell me that get, that team can't win championships? And you're going to tell me with Brandon Ingram coming off the bench and Rondo coming off the bench, with Josh Hart, with Larry Nance Jr., Zubak, you tell, and Thomas Bryant and, and or others coming on? I mean, that's a team ready to, to win immediately. That's a super team. That's how you build the super team. I'd love to know what you think. Um, would you risk that? Would you trade these pieces in order to build this team? Could you see this team happening? Could you see what I've just mentioned happening? Please comment in the box below. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit that bell for notifications. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. And let everybody know that... I'm here. Have a good day. Go Lakers. Peace. Dunking out.